Hello everyone. Ah, that didn't take long, did it? Monday, I was losing uh, in round three. Tuesday, I was on the ladder training with Remy. Uh, I, I don't think I want to... I don't have confidence in Remy today. I'm really sorry, everyone. I don't have confidence in Remy. It's We're going back to the classic, the Gligar. A Gligar's purpose is, that he will, pu purpose is that he will win me this set. Now, the user I have to find... Oh, shoot. I have to change my name. Uh... I'll, I'll make the screen black for this so that nobody can see what name I'm typing in. That would be funny. <laughs> what password I'm typing. Oh gosh, I think it's just that. Nope, it's... There we are. Now you know the length of both my passwords. Unless I... Unless I, uh... Both. I have more than that many passwords. Uh, find a user. Hummus fan, I believe. That's controversial. Chat. Hello. I believe I have the right human being right now. Uh, and I'll quickly pop a message on Discord. There we are. It's all very good. It's all it's all going well. Hello, hi. That's that's how it works in this life. Uh and, and then I've got the teams for the next two games. Controversially, incredibly controversially, I'm bringing Sandless Game 3. I know. W what, a, what a world we live in that I would do such a thing. I haven't played Sandless since the incident. And yet here we are. Sorry, I had to lock my door. Uh, the incident, you say? Um, is, is Gligar's purpose ready? I'm, I'm running Roar on the Swampert. And his name is One Spike Michael. Uh, this is insane. Someone's knocking on my door. I'm going to simply ignore it. Just kidding. I'm going to go check who it is. And we're back. Three, two, one, accept. Oh my gosh, that's a cool av avatar. Now, was my opponent expecting the Tyrannosif? Who nostrils? Um, what's the... What's the game plan here? I'm supposed to know what to do against a lead Salamence, right? Uh, it could be a number of things. Honestly, Gligar checks most things. Zapdos, also not that bad. Because, like, Brick Break, Earthquake, you know, uh, many options. Uh, but, like, it's about what I want to do after that, isn't it? Where I want to go from there. What I might want to do... And with this team, I've honestly just completely forgot. I was running it for an hour before the fight. Well, not for an hour, for a few games. And then I had pizza and then uh, I chilled out and now it's fight time and I don't know what to do. I have to consider. Uh, also, I left a note for myself so that I know this uh, for, the, for the game. I have a problem of not considering switching during mind games. It's decided. It's a brick break. It's a brick break break bastion. Uh, whew, I mean, Fortress. This is a good opportunity to get Fortress in, I'd say. Oh, no, it's not, because they could just fire blast. You would never fire blast, even knowing that you are faster than me. I could have HPIs, you could lose your whole Salamence. So I'm just going to go to one Spike Michael. Grumpig! Yeah! I, it's it's for the love of the game. All right, so it's thick fat. Uh, Grumpig is a defensive guy. I don't know what moves it has. You know what? Should we get Grumpig up in the builder? Should we get Grumpig up in the builder? Grumpig, this is what I'm doing right now. You're running thick fat. Um, you're probably running calm mind, and fire punch. Yeah, fire punch makes sense. So I should probably switch out on that basis. It's a good thing I checked, isn't it? Because I didn't know it learned fire punch, and yet here we are. Uh, it could also be running Dynamic Punch. Ooh, scary. Don't wanna, don't wanna get Dynamic Punched by the Grumpig. Swampert seems like a delectable mid-ground. Delectable. Uh, does it get Ice Punch? It does get Ice Punch, I can't use the Glider. A lot of variables here. Oh, wait, Tyranitar. Tyranosif? Gaming. Pursuitma?
kill Grumpy? This is this is Mr. Grumpy from the Mr. Men. And that's Sneezy. That's Mr. Sneeze from the Mr. Men. And let me just say, uh, oh, and that's that's Mr. Lazy from the Mr. Men. That's Mr. Lazy from the Mr. Men, basically. And basically, that's Mr. Lazy from the Mr. Men. Now, uh, on the one hand, there are many hands, actually. There are many hands to this clock face. Uh, it could be it could be a Foratress instance. It could be an instance of the Foratress. It could be an instance of the Swampert. It could be an instance of the Glycar, but I'm worried about the Toxic Click. Uh, Swampert's the best mid-ground between getting Earthquaked, getting toxic you know. I go the, I go the Pert, and it is a Toxic, indeed, 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 you do, do not go to the Glygar, in fact. And if they, if they wish to Earthquake, oh, you're here with me. Mi amigo. Well, then. I don't have a great way of dealing with a Foratress. Oh wait, yes I do. What am I saying? I have Gligar and it is his purpose. Now, if if the enemy gamer Hummus fan has been reading before the match, then they'll know that I'm about to FIFA them. However, if they are a non-reader of the Discords, then they will be none the wiser. And unthewiser. And gum the wiser. They have switched. It is. It was wise of them to do such a thing. And now I go own Forry. I go Forry on the Forry, and I Forry it up in this quarry. One Spike Michael, you know what to do. You know what to do, One Spike Michael. Getting up your spike is your duty in life. No, you just spin. One Spike Michael is rarely ever One Spike Michael. That's that's what I've learned from years of gaming experience. Now, it's either a fire punch for the heroes and for the fans, or sorry, I'm probably I hope I hope that I don't like just sweep this guy because like I'm locked in slightly more than I was last round. Well, they're locked in more than they were last round as well. They probably lost last round, so. That is how it should go. Fire Punch, Gligar Punch, Gligar Summit. You are gonna probably be a speedy little guy, a speedy little goober. I think. And then I can go to Blissey. Oh, you're supposed to go to Blissey. No, you're not, because you get brick breaked. I'm thinking about the lead still. I'm thinking about the lead matchup and how I had to, like, Labor on the Zapdos click. Swampert, help me out here. What? Do you... What do you have that isn't leftovers, you gremlin? You creature, what are you doing? Are you trying to bait me? Are you trying to bait me? I know you are stuck with me. Celebi. Happy. That's Mr. Happy from the Mr. Men, by the way. Uh, this is Mr. Dizzy. Boom! That's a crunch. That's a crunch for the ages. A pursuit because I am that. No. I have shown that I am want to pursuit. I mean, Rock Slide would be a nice... Nah, it's got to be a crunch. It's got to be a crunch for the fans. Oh, you have Recover. There we are. It's a good thing I crunched. Because now I know such things. I can go to my buggy little guy here. Look at this guy. You, you know what's crazy? This guy could just go on Discord right now and see the team posted. <laughs> I did just post the pokey paste of this before the match. Like, one or two hours before the match. <laughs> spike. It's Michael's spike. Spike session. Oh, what if I hidden power bug the, the grumpy gamer? And now we're gaming. Now, to leech seed me could be a fool's errand. 
Hello, Foratress from the Bronx. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> All right, crunch him. I, I could get bugged, I could many things. Oh, my opponent switched out, expecting me to switch out. And I just got a crunch in for no reason. For no reason what a Salamence Flygon. And you won it set? That's interesting. Salamence Flygon. This is unusual. I suppose Grumpig helps because it's thick fat, right? So you have an ice resist, you have an ice resist, you have two three guys who are weak to ice, and you you're covering most of the bases here. Um what do you do against an electric ice gamer? What do you do against a Zapdos or Raikou or Jolteon with electric ice coverage? Like, there has to be a Swampert in the back, but chance? A Blissey? Miltank? No, you already got Grumpig. It, is it just the Grumpig? What are your stats? Okay, fair enough. I didn't, I didn't know you were like this. I didn't know you had that going for you, Grumpig. Grumpig, that's good for you. Good for you, Grumpig. You have a serviceable special defense stat that means you take 30% from a Zapdos T-Bolt when you switch in. And Zapdos doesn't want to click T-Bolt against his team. There's three Ice Weeks. It's clicking Heist. You're taking 10%. I'm draining the timer. Uh, and this is no this is no bueno. I've got to go here. And I've got to, I've got to counter the Flygon. I suppose. No, but you do it again, right? And then I just go to... Oh, you could click Earthquake like a gamer. A gamer would click Earthquake here. That's why an even stronger gamer... Oh, what if you click Toxic? Midground. Yeah, see? Could have been Earthquake. Could have been Toxic. But I am Swampert. Swampert is my name. And... Pleasing the crowd is the game. My opponent's actually kind of gaming right now. The fl the flamethrower flygon, I should have considered it. I can admit that I should have considered it. I did I not ever swap Boratrice in on flygon before? I didn't. Of course, of course I did not. Okay, this guy's like honestly, I'm gonna get a chip heal in. Oh, but then if I try to come in later, I have to rapid spin right now. Or I could, like... I have to rapid spin. Uh... It's looking kind of dire, isn't it? Oh, they know I have counter. Right. That flamethrower is gonna eat me in the long term i wish i had protect i wish i had anything to make it so that my opponent doesn't want to click earthquake oh i know because they're probably gonna click earthquake again and if they okay my opponent's thinking actually It's very tough. And having a spike disadvantage, I do at least have two levitating guys, but I also have Swampert, who's going to get eaten alive by the spikes. And I just don't have any way of dealing with the Foratress. Uh, it's dire. It's dire, basically. I wish I was able to thief it earlier. Wait, I can get a chip heal in. Get in a chip heal. Get in a chip heal and then go swamp it. <laughs> My opponent's thinking, damn, what, 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 are we kind of gaming today? Is it gaming Wednesday? Did we, did we assign gaming to this Wednesday? Oh, that reminds me. Hold on, hold on. Before I forget, before I forget...
There we are. Pizza. Oh, heal bell. That's interesting. And you're threatening to grasp me, aren't you? You're threatening to grasp me, you little scoundrel. I four times resist with the with the guy. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! How could this have happened to me? Oh, but I, I now have a reliable way to deal with the grumpy. And then from there, my ice type moves, which I have none of, go hard. My opponent's going cr I, I I should have checked for Thief, evidently. Uh, I've got him. This Grumpig is, is defeated. To the next spike, to the next layer, and to the next player. And I crunch here. No, I... My opponent's aware now of the maneuver. I have to go to... Honestly, the Zapdos looks kind of schnasty. You're kind of schnasty, Zapdos. I'll tell you that much. You're kind of schnasty with it. You're kind of going schnasty on them. I can Toxic. This is where a Toxic belongs. On this turn, under these circumstances. Oh. No, that's okay. Are you going to T-Bolt? I mean, Earthquake? Oh, you're not. I'm greedy. I think they're going to stay. Yep, Fortress is gone. But now I get a T-Bolt click that is pretty nice. It's decent. This is a decent T-Bolt click. They're telling me it's decent. They're telling me it's okay. Hell, I could probably just click Toxic. Folks. Uh, consider the following, consider the following, that I am a gamer, that I am a gamer in many respects. Watch this. It didn't go to plan, admittedly. Admittedly, it did not go to plan. Admittedly, and I can admit it, in fact, but that's okay. You would never click it this time. What? Uh, the, the, the Flygon is... Okay, my opponent... My opponent has to lose. Like, I couldn't lose to this. It's Toxic Flamethrower Body Slam Flygon. Toxic? Okay. We accept Toxic. Rest. Rest. And I've been worried for nothing for my entire life. Bring in the... Bring in the Blissey. Bring it in. Oh, but what if there's a Doug Trio in the back? Because my opponent's insane, right? My opponent's completely deranged. Anything. Anything and everything. It's in the cards. It's all on the table. You can't trust a man with no regards. I've got to bring him in. I have to bring him in. Can I, can I do it? Allow me to. I will high roll or get a spadef drop. I think this is like working in a sense. But also, I think I'm, like, bleeding majorly. Like, I'm covered in blood. I haven't revealed the Blissey yet. 
My opponent's not ready for the CM Blissey. Oh yeah, I do have an ice type move. It's the Blissey. The Blissey has the ice type move. If I were to Pursuit now, no. Oh, you calced it, you fiend. Well, guess what? I CM for... No, I... I... Okay. If Ice Beam's doing 34% now, then imagine what it could do with a car mind boost to my name. Uh, this is this is difficult. Wait, hold on. This was this was stu stupid idea. Soft boiled. I need to boiled up soft like. Cause Celebi can't really get me. I. Okay. How do I win? I win by stalling my opponent out of heal bells. Oh my god. Oh, what a world we live in that I'm in this position. How did you know? How did you know? Do I just lose now? Am I a loser? Have I lost? Am I in last place? It's Rock Slide. It might be Jova. You didn't reveal it the whole time. But you're a gamer. Oh, wow. We've got gamers going on. Oh, jeez. That's something, at least. That is at least something. You will, you will not prosper. Megatros. <sighs> Earthquake, I don't... No, it is a three-hit KO. Unless you do that. In which case, it might not be. Hypercutter. Interesting. Okay. I lost the Blissey. That was like my wing con. I have no health on any of my guys. That's hidden power flying. I need to do something that will allow me to rest. That was my chance and I have seized it. And I live in Seasden. You can't really touch me. I, I think it's worthwhile to do that. And then to go back. Just to burn one sleep turn. In theory. In principle. I am principled, yes. Yes, I am. I'm running out of toxics. I'm running out of life. I'm running out of steam. I, I'm struggling to see a way in which I can win this fight. And yet there has to be a way. For there is a will. And I am Will. My name is William. Hear me roar. Yes, you would. Anything to deal damage. What if I just like were to stall you out of those? I can, like, stall you out of all your moves. <clears throat> like, these are the guys who can win an endgame in theory. If these guys are all alive, then Swampert can refresh repeatedly. Zapdos can sit on the world. And everyone will smile and scream and stuff. Honestly, Thief is the better click if I can get my get a word in, you know. I mean, is it though? 
95 special attack. Let's calc it, actually. Gligar. With minus special attack. So let's just say it's that one. And the move Thief. What are you doing to your typical guy? Abra, Abra takes big, obviously. 23%, that's huge. Salamence, however, on the other hand, as an alternative, takes 6%. Uh, would I rather toxic it when I have 14 toxics and my opponent has 6 heal bells? The answer is yes. Of course, that's what you are. I couldn't steal the Lumberry, to be fair. That wasn't in the cards for me. At the same time, wouldn't it be nice if I could thief the Salamence? that is now healthier than anyone has ever been. And now I'm in dire straits. I think I'll just thief here and lose a bit more health, but also preserve protect. Ah, uh, that wasn't a good idea, I don't think. It seems like a good, as, as good an opportunity as any to get Swamp put in and to protect. But it's kind of hard, isn't it? And this battle's pretty long. Who would have thunk it would be this long? Who would have thought of such a thing? That was a nice mid-ground. You don't want to click Leech Seed, you don't have many of them. Uh, I don't particularly want to click Toxic, I want to click T-Bolt. Into a world of greed. A world of greed that I do see. Uh, are you going to click HP Grass, you gamer? You gamer on your own. Are you going to force a scenario? Or are you going to switch out into Salamence and get T-bolted? That's interesting. Spikes, Quake, Spin. I am in. It's Gligar. Gligar, your purpose is to... That was probably alright. That was okay. Whatever. Salamence comes in now. I still need to double protect afterwards is the thing. Well, you can't stay in, right? Uh, it's looking like a loss, arguably. You can explode now. Oh, shoot. I'm happy with this. Oh, never mind. Can we do the thing you were doing before? I can't believe I did that. of range? Possibly. No. Yeah. Hooray. GG. That's okay, Glidar. You did your best. I am on my tournament life. But this is where a Wishments should have his contusion, I do believe. Hold on, let me... I'm going to do it this way. Now, the Wishments is Contusion. Oh, sure thing. Uh, five minute break happened, I suppose. I'll see you in five minutes. 
allegedly gaming is back on the menu fellas and we're gonna win the next two games and miraculously win the set and miraculously get my first actual win of the tournament and my first win in any tournament since that one like a year ago with the carmine blissey shenanigans uh i'm good at tournaments and i am good in this one and this team is interesting it has beat up and a bunch of guys where the lowest attack stat is jirachi and charizard and everyone else is just like 120 130 gamer right uh a declaw would be interesting wouldn't it i think it's uh my guy and then my guy i think it's my guy and then my guy so i go to my guy and then i go to my guy and then from there <laughs> we're real you too it's true if i may say such a thing love's in need of love today if i don't even get to use the pizza team the team with the pizza nicknames on pizza wednesday i'm gonna be disappointed life will have meaning not I want this to be a three-game set. More than anything, I want to win this game right here. All right, that is physical Salamence again. My opponent is a real one for that, many have said. Uh, oh, I can, I can intimidate it again. I can loop it. And I can become loopy. I can become loopy. And then what will there be to do? My opponent probably isn't clicking Rock Slide right now. Like, my opponent is going to play conservatively and isn't just going to go for a, an insane maneuver because they want to just win right now, right? They are ahead, but this is, this is tournament life. We are all behind in this situation. We are both one win and two losses and one fu future loss away from total elimination, annihilation, space station, Bowser's space station, Bowser's big blast, space land, horror land, got it Mario Party 3. Alexa, play got it from Mario Party 3, but if it was arranged by Halbert Simpson from YouTube. I think it worked. This is this is rough. This is rough. And yet, and yet. I have a Jirachi's wish for the world. I may body slam. Permission to body slam you, Swaikoon. Permission to body slam happen. This is a rough situation. Do I even have Roar on this team? Is this a Roarless team? <laughs> Love the Suicune matchup. Feeling good. Loving life. Living large. I should I should practice like using blue offense. Yeah. Give me my paralysis in the bag on a dime with a swivel. That did do a lot. But guess who's got the Rocker Salida? The Rocker Salida. Could have gone to Metagross. I have Spadef on Metagross, so really I should have gone to the Metagross. This is a very specially defensive Metagross. And it would have been good to switch in here. But I have gone to the Hariyama. Understanding that my opponent probably does not have Tyranitar, Tyranosif, or Tyranagamer. I think I can knock here even. And I'll be happy, I'll be pleased, and I will have the bee's knees. A rock slide into the Salamence, perchance? A rock slide at a glance? God, that did so much. Life. Life is cruel that Suicune should be real and exist and do this to me. But I am the stronger gamer. And I may now, I have been given permission, I have been given license to finish it off with Earthquake. 
I have been given license to critical hit the Jirachi with Earthquake. My opponent is the one making plays that are none, none, none the wiser. This is, this is the tournament game. This is the game right here. Therein lies the game. And the game belies itself, really. I, I have many options, don't I? Could be Rock Slide, could be Ice, t ice Beam. You never know with the doll, do ya? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go the Ments on- Yes! Polyrath! All right, my opponent has to win now. I have to throw for the Polyrath. Polyrath is here. Polyrath. Polyrath is my, is my friend. I was thinking of bringing a Polyrath team today. I had considered such a thing. We don't live in that world, but I had considered living in such a world. And now we are in a world where my opponent is in fact the Polyrath Gamer. Uh, protect. Oh wait, wish. You're clearly, you're clearly running some ludic ludicrous stuff. Body slam. Body slam, bring in the Zard, beat up. Uh, that was hilarious, actually. That was humorous. Uh, but guess who's gaming? G guess who has gamer genes? Aromatherapy means how on earth would you fit T Bolt, right? Uh, oh, jeez. Fainted Hariyama means the beat up isn't like reliable right it's not reliable but i'm gonna go for it right now anyway it is t-bolt you're insane you're ludicrous you're crazy you're delirious i kind of needed this art i kind of still need it do i beat up i that would be sunk cost for lackey, right? That would be sunk cost for lackey. I don't think I do. I think I like... No, I don't go to the guy right now. Sub T-Wave Rock Quake is a gamer set, by the way. I don't know if you know this about me. Ooh. Meteor happened. I mean... My opponent won't expect it. My opponent saw what I did last time. And now I get to KO with Rock Slide. I'm in a commanding position. I mean, there is a chance that Claydol comes in. In that case, with that in mind... Mix elements Versus this guy. Uh, it's probably not Mix, to be fair. Um, it's probably minor special, it's, but it's, it, you know, neutral on the defenses. Aerial Ace. What am I doing here? Mm, and that's with 306 attack. This is 329. So like 84-ish. Uh, and it doesn't KO. Not in this life, not in the next life. So I am now in this position again. And this time... It's it's uh it's a little bit dire. It's a little bit uh dicey. My opponent's also thinking it's dicey, thinking like they've got aerial ace. Why? HP grass. HP grass is the answer. The answer is HP grass. This is a really nice team. I've haven't I run like I've run like four of these guys on the same team. I think maybe arguably I've run Jolteon and Skarm. But really, this is probably the better build. You've got the anti-Suicune and the Suicune, which is insane coverage. You would never run Polyrath with Suicune, would you? In this life? Under these circumstances? I'm, I'm less than sure. Shadow Ball. Uh, go the Ments, and then we're back in the commanding position, right? I get a HP Grass. This, this was actually a really easy one to maneuver around. Because what's Shadow Ball doing now? Little. It's doing minimal. And my opponent's team is slow. But now I'm kind of worried about an explosion coming down. So I'm just going to go to the Tyranitar. Oh wait. 
the Metagross, because then I can protect afterwards. Like, I think my opponent might boom here, genuinely. They might boom. Alternatively, they might go Blissey. And look who's in the commanding position right now. Metagross was such a good call. This is what I was talking about. I have a problem of not considering switching during mind games. Well, guess who just switched during a mind game? Guess who just did it? Guess who just did damage to the enemy? Have I revealed Protect? I have. Uh... Zard is the play. Zard is an insane play. Okay, like, does it live a Shadow Ball? Uh, it's probably not, actually. I don't really have any good options, though. I, I go Zard. Like, it catches the boom, now that I've protected. Catches Earthquake Fet. I mean, what damage are you even doing to my Metagross with bulk? With 320 HP, so like, 60-ish investment. And, uh, Clay Doll. Earthquake is two hit KOing. Yeah, no. And look who's in the commanding position. I'm I'm blaze boosted. I'm I'm a blazing gamer. I'm blazing. I'm faster than everything. I've got coverage to hit the world. I could Dragon Claw here. Uh, Blissey dies to me. Flamethrower into beat up is the KO combo. There we are. I told you I needed the Zard. I told you I needed the Zard. My opponent spent so long thinking about whether to Earthquake there. I was not ready to take that much damage from an Earthquake. There's the truth. I ran the, I did run the beat up calc ages ago. Donkeys years ago. And like it's 85% if I have all of my guys alive. Um... Losing carry armor is like taking off 18%, right? So, basically, with a crit, beat up KOs here. With a crit, it KOs. But, like, why would you? Why would you go for that? That's the question. Uh, yeah, why would you? In short. In long, even. Why would you? Um, and I suppose... Then, the reason is it makes Salamence, like, 12 times as threatening. But I need to play my cards very correctly. Okay, let's think, let's actually just plan the whole thing out. I have two and a half minutes on the board. Let's plan the whole thing out. I beat up, they T-Bolt. I go to the Salamence. I Aerial Ace, and they sacrifice the Clay Doll, go to the Polyrath, and suddenly, um, the Blissey has evaded justice, and I'm in, like, not the best position, because I don't think I Oko Polyrath, and nothing particularly wants to switch into Polyrath. Um, I'm going to save my insane pace for later. I'm going to go to... A game as Pokemon. I'm going to go to Jirachi. I am then going to body slam until I get the paralysis on something, anything, anything at all, anything I like in the world. And then I will wish going to Tyranitar and substitute and click my famous buttons. T waving the Polyrath would be good. I, I, I would enjoy that. The thing is, I think I only need to hit it once and then it dies. This is the kind of team I was running last game, and it's the kind of team I lost with last game. Was a team where everything's pretty slow. Everything on their team's slow. I have, a, I have a Charizard on 328. So there we are. You wouldn't aromatherapy that. My opponent's expecting many things, but probably not 
to go Tyranitar. Substitute. Ah, uh, but then, like, Claydol does kind of get me. Not if I flinch it. Not if I flinch it. I'm 158. It's faster than me. Uh, so really, I shouldn't have gone Tyranitar at all. I should have gone to... Oh, you know what? They're really worried about these. Oh, oh, I rock slide here. It's a mid-ground. And Polyrath has now been damaged sufficiently that I am pleased. I find this to be pleasant. That's, that's all I wanted, was just enough damage on the Polyrath. Just enough. Just enough. In essence. Hypnosis. It's pretty dire. It's hate. Okay, it's restoring HP with leftovers. Ah. Uh, it's a risky play, but I think I go here. Yeah, I do. And now I get to Aerial Ace, and nothing particularly wants to take the Aerial Ace. I mean, Blissey doesn't mind, I suppose. But my opponent's lost a lot of progress. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, I think I have to click it. I have to click it. Just to, like, prevent shenanigans happening. But then I can go Metagross, and uh, nothing wants to take a Meteor Mash. Not even Polyrath, because then Salamence would just clean from there. And this is the game we're playing, in essence. Yeah, Ice Beam, and then I mash. I mash into anything at all in the world. You may have noticed last game that I was running a pretty speedy Blissey. I like this Blissey. It's got enough speed to outspeed this guy. And if you're, so if your opponent has this guy, this guy in particular, yeah. Because what what's special about this guy? What's significant? That's, that's no investment in speed. I don't know how much you know about ADVOU. You might be my brother watching this. And then you would have to know such things. Uh... I don't want to get caught out by the clay doll switching. Uh, honestly, I do go for it now. There's, there's no, there's no other like thing that I want to do with the Metagross. Metagross has done its job. Really, it has done its job. It can, it can go. Metagross can go. I think I outspeed Polyrath anyway. No. And it's Earthquake Polyrath. That's kind of disgusting. Why would you run that? Um, here we are. The most powerful Zards. The screen went dark in his presence. Oh, it's because it's a shiny. Uh, okay. I know what everyone is thinking. The nicknames. Particularly this nickname. Um, how do I put this? It's a Stevie Wonder song. All of these are off songs in the key of life. That is the that is the through thread here. Hidden Power Grass to Victory, baby. That is the through thread here. I might just I might just be grassy today. I have a I have a clean victory now. It's a good thing I did the thing with the Metagross just there, where I did the thing. That, it dies after sand. That's interesting. Aerial Ace. Seals the deal. Quick Attack Polyrath. <laughs> I don't even think it it learns Quick Attack. And then I Aerial Ace because what a fun set, right? Aerial Ace, Hidden Power Grass. Everyone wanted to see that win a game. And yes, we're using the pizza set, baby. Yeah. It's Pizza Wednesday. It's Pizza Wednesday. I just wanted to check that my door was locked. It's Pizza Wednesday. Gamers of the world. Are you ready? Look at look at what has befallen us. If I may move this down. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. Yeah. It's Pizza Wednesday. 
And this is... Oh, wait. Oh, you want to run Toxic here, because then that synergizes with whichever guy that gets raw. But there we are. Toxic, Toxic, something, something, win. That is what we're doing. My opponents checking what team that, they thought they were going to win in two. They don't have a third team ready. They're going to win the first. They're going to bring the first game team again. No, what they are bringing is something to deal with specifically the contusion team. And God, I'm ha I'm so satisfied. There is nothing more satisfying than being able to nickname Metagross Contusion. It's just a chef's kiss, right? I was running the Stevie names before I even had Metagross on any of the teams with the Stevie names. The instant I put it on, I ran through the list of 21 songs on Songs in the Key of Life. There it is, Contusion. No one else gets to be Contusion. No other song name works better for Metagross than Contusion. Like, runner-ups, Sir Duke, that would be good. Joy Inside My Tears? Eh! All Day Sucker? It, it's Contusion. It's Contusion. He is the, he is the computer. He is Contused. We're looking up the definition of contusion in my Pokemon video. It's like a headache. It's, this is a contusion. A region of injured tissue or skin in which blood capillaries have been ruptured. A bruise. Oh, it's a bruise. Uh, I, was, I was almost there. It's some kind of injury without a wound. It's a bruise. <laughs> And this reminds me, I think I'm going to, like, release a things to say video about it in, like, four months time or something. Yes, I have done plans, like, that far in advance. Thereabouts. But I just can't bruise anymore. I banged the back of my heel, like, a week and a half ago. So hard off, off the edge of a cupboard in the kitchen, a floor level cupboard, bang my heel on it so hard while dancing my legs off to Too High by Stevie Wonder. And, um, and I looked at it, I was like, I might genuinely get a bruise now. I didn't get a bruise. It like turned a little bit red for 10 minutes and then just nothing. No pain, no, no spot of soreness, no bruise. I'm immune. I haven't bruised in like 10 years. I used to bruise all the time as a kid as well. That's a weird thing. But I just can't bruise now. I just can't bruise. I'm incapable. P. My opponent's thinking, what, what's going on here? What's, what's that? What's that, dude? You wouldn't hate to be grass. Not on turn one. Not under these. Steckel Vogel. That's got to be the German name for Zapdos. That's got to be the German name. Pilut. Pilut. Hello, Pilut. Hi, Ice Beam. Oh wait, no. If I don't reveal it, then that's gaming. If I do reveal it, that's non-gaming. Here we go. You protected to scout for the ice beam, and that's why I'm the gamer. That's why I'm the gamer. Now, this is Superman. Which means you do want spikes below. There is no Suicune. It's okay. There is no Suicune. It's okay. Why did my opponent bring stall this time? And I don't have the means. <sighs> Why are you that fast? Why are you that fast?
Why are you special Flygon? I should have seen it as being more likely if it was Flamethrower and it did enough to get the KO after a burn. But I'm so flabbergasted. I'm so flabbergasted. I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted. It's not Superman then. It isn't Superman. If that's the world we live in, then it's not Superman. I just... I just don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't know what my investment is. The HP bugs doing like up to 20% more than I would like it to. And Psychic is, is probably not doing enough to KO after a Toxic. I don't have investment. 236, 321. So, I think what I do is I recover. And then I recover. And it's actually way weaker than that even. It's a weaker Dugtrio. It's weaker than average. It's weaker than the average Dug. The tone has really shifted, hasn't it? The kibosh. They put the kibosh on me. My opponent's running their favorite teams. Grumpig, Polyrath, Flareon. I love it, to be honest. I love the commitment. I'm not running that many insane teams. I did run Glygar, but then I ran normal and normal. But like, these are homemade teams, brewed in the laboratory. You know, the mood shifting in this way. There is only one thing that would be worse than this, and it would be the mood going the complete opposite way in response to, for instance, for example, giving an example here, the craziest little guy you've ever seen. I what what words am I looking for? Ancient power Tyranitar. You switch out, I get a chip heal in. All according to plan. All according to plan. Uh Celebi has just been revealed. My Celebi is bigger than yours. I can't get my one through the door. Is that the lyrics? I, I don't know. <laughs> Ultimately, I have no choice but to go to Celebi in such a circumstance. Uh-huh. Toxic King Doug was funny. It was humorous. Ah... Uh... Sure. No. As a matter of fact, no. No is the answer. And Psychic does too much. She took the wires to my PlayStation. This is the most insane gaming of all time. Mm. 
knowing that I would test the waters in that way before, my opponent didn't go HP grass. This is a really interesting position. If they go straight to the dug right now, they are the gamer, in fact. I mean, I can just psychic here and it's all good, right? Yeah, exactly. Psychic's the surefire way to do that. Your dog trio isn't trapping anything else. Now it's just a matter of how do I heal up the Celebi. My opponent's lost two guys. Crucially, actually. I should, I should note, my opponent is, like, bleeding here. My opponent doesn't know what to do with themselves. Uh, are you grass? Oh, I'm weak if this is CM Jirachi with grass. But at the same time, I have like the means to deal with it. This guy does pretty well into it. You fared decently, Mr. Salamence. You haven't seen... Oh, wow. What the hell? CM Body Slam. Okay, which makes more sense? Calm Mind Body Slam Fire Grass or Calm Mind Body Slam Bolt Beam? And the crucial thing is, um, if it's Fire Grass, you probably want to run Psychic, right? Don't you? I mean... Here's a way to test the waters. Yeah, here's a way to test the waters. Go own Celebi, Celebu, Celeba. This is my cause célèbre. This is my raison d'être. My raison d'être. This is my passé partout. I still haven't revealed the the guy. Choice band dipped in Mama Liz's chili oil. That's redonkulous, and I no longer have the Starmy, which was like really useful. It was useful in the matchup, just straight up. No, you don't need to. Hariyama will find his day. Her day. It's Captain Dola originally, that's why it's... Recover, 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 recover. Recover, recover, recover. I am going to recover. I have a lot of recover. I'm noting here, on my journey, that they probably cannot fit. Uh... Probably cannot fit Psychic on the Jirachi. So Hariyama should be pretty good into it. That being a two-hit KO is very concerning. On the other hand... Ilya, you are fast, aren't you? 430, 213, 403, 264. Yeah, you, you're fine. And I could Ice Beam for the games, but I won't. But I won't. What if I did, though? What if I did this? It's risky. That is the most interesting thing yet, is the thing. <sighs> you revealed your hand. You have revealed it. Your hand has been revealed. Bring in I know not what. That's the thing. Your, my opponent starts to guess whether I'm ice beaming or earthquaking. And they guessed correctly. Would you know it? Now, I really need the Swampert for the Flareon. I need it really badly. So I'm going here on the HP Grass. Good. Good. I have deduced that it's HP Grass. And then you're going to click a fire move. And I'm going to Harry Armor on that.
Being able to knock off the Hariyama would be good here. I mean, to knock off the Jirachi. You aren't Grass Psychic. If you are, then what are you going to do against Celebi, right? What are you, what are you going to do? Well, the answer is, what am I going to do against you? And you might have deduced such a thing by now. You are slowly getting me. I suppose my opponent's thinking, I might as well stay in, right? This is such a close one. This is to the wire. This really is to the wire, isn't it? I have to stay in. Oh, there we are. Okay, it's okay. Please don't delay. Just heal bell. You'll be okay. You will do it. God, I wish I could paralyze this thing. Heal bell. A bell giant. You make my life so hard. As if I'm playing against Charizard. Flamethrower. I beg. I do get there. I, I win this. No, I don't actually. But I get the Jirachi low enough that it can't come in again. And that was like Salamence's ultimate righteous purpose. Or I can get a crit. Yippee. Hooray for me. The critical hit master. Does it spell pizza? Pazazi. 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 Pazizza. Pazia. Yeah. With my Pazias. And now Swampert kind of just goes to the moon. I mean, sad face, alternatively, alternatively lucky. So, swings and roundabouts can be argued on this day. You are banded. And what that means for me is a number of things. For a start, Harry Armour, you have run your course. Go to bed. Because I'm worried about HP Grass still, that's why. Oh wait, I can Ice Beam. Wouldn't that be a gamer maneuver? Wouldn't it be a gamer maneuver to just get the freeze? <laughs> I don't deserve that, but my opponent didn't deserve to just kill my Skarmory. So like, who's the gamer and who's the lamer, right? Imagine if it was HP Fire Celebi. Uh, I mean, we are playing this game. We're playing this game. Is it that simple? Okay, I've knocked off the Zapdos. I don't need to Toxic it. I can go Swamp it here. I can Ice Beam. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I, 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 probably Ice Beam. Uh. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Wait, is going Salamence the most insane mid-ground play of all time it is? And I go for it. Uh, 
And Psychic is a three hit KO on the Zapdos, so I think I do win it. I just need to keep clicking Psychic one zillion times and Toxic as well, because my opponents like that. Uh... This is what the team was made for. This is what I, it was built to do. Was precisely what you are watching it do. What watching me do now? Win against the Celebi. Okay, that was pretty good actually. That was that was pretty gangster. Uh, you might have me because you're stalling me out of toxics that I most desperately need. So here's what I'll do. I will just click my own buttons one million times. Who is the gamer? Leech Seed Blast. Leech Seed Blast. You are supposed to run Leech Seed and Toxic together now. Or you're supposed to run Leech Seed over Toxic. But me, I'm a gamer on my own. And a gamer on their own... I'm in the wrong place. You click Psychic, right, that makes sense. <laughs> I was thinking you click Hidden Power, you have four moves, and none of them are Hidden Power. Excuse me, Princess? Princess Zelda from The Legend of Zelda? Uh, we have a similar number of buttons is the thing. Uh, you have, oh, I can just like store you out of heal bells, right? And because you're running Psychic, you can't, like, get my Swampert. So I can, like, repeatedly switch in and out. In and out Burger, in fact. And there is none to be done. I go straight back to the Swampert. Uh, I mean... No, I don't want to get Spadef dropped. I need to stall out the Psychics. I really do. I need to stall out the Psychics. There we are. Stall out one Psychic. Psychic. Move over once. Move over twice. And no, that's fine. Oh wait, I go Swamp It here. Every time without fail, I go Swamp It. No need to reinvent the wheel. There is no reason to do such a thing. I can just click Ice Beam as many times as I like. I think I just get there with... Oh, but I would have to, like, get through all the recovers. In that case, no. To stall my opponent out of recovers is my ambition. Uh... Here's what I'll do, I'll click Heal Bell. Wait, no, I don't want to rev I've revealed Heal Bell, it's fine. Uh, this time you Leech Seed? Told you. Uh, you, you wouldn't recover here, you're gonna Psychic. Because you know I always go Swamp It after the... If you want to stay, you can. I, I want to I want to psychic you. And now here's the secret. With that dose down to a fleeting hit. I can just play this game. For there is naught to be done. To be able to click the same button 10,000 times. That is my desire. I need you to use a heal bell. Yep, yeah, you switched out. Yes! 
A winner's ballot. A winner's ballot. It begins. Oh, why would you throw it all away? I mean, you had to make some crazy predicts, didn't you? But you did, as a result, throw it all away. Oh, and I've won the set! I've won the set! I actually won one! I won one! I won one! I won one! I won one! I'm so happy! And I get to revel in it for, like, this whole time so I don't just, like, go numb in all my limbs from, like, suddenly I win. It, like, built up slowly to the point where, oh, oh! Yay! Hooray! Give me the victory! Halbert Simpson on the prowl! Hello! You finally leech seeded the Swampert. It only took you how many attempts? S s eight. Eight tries the charm. That's what they say in medical school. Now, I just need to not miss all of my toxics. That is the world we live in. A world where I could, in theory, miss all my toxics. Let's click the button that makes the button that makes the button. What are, what are the odds of missing that many top six? Five top six out of... It's like a binomial distribution situation, right? Um, toxic has a, a what mischance? 85% you claim, allegedly. Oh, they only have two heal bells. So I'd have to miss seven top six. So there's eight ways to do that, uh, and each of them requires the 15% chance to happen um, seven times. So one in six, what's six to the power of seven, and then times by eight, and then add six to the power of eight, uh, and then put divide, and then do one divided by that humongous number. It's not likely. It's not likely that my opponent wins this. My opponent is odds on to lose. I mean, we already knew this, but like, we're talking about millions here. Six to the power of seven, like 10 to the power of seven is a million, right? And we were about to times it. Oh, no, you'd have to do the times by eight on the top, actually. So take the eight out. and Yeah, I did it backwards. Did, didn't they make that same mistake in the, in the stand-up maths dream video? Didn't one of the people... Okay, I I thought that that was the forfeit. Okay, there's a miss. My opponent's banking on more misses. F six of them, to be exact, or five. Right, I do need the one last Toxic to hit after all is said and done. There, there might still be an avenue for me to win, even if that isn't the case, because I have the power to switch and PP stall. My opponent has no such privilege in life. My opponent does not have such a lease on life that that is doable. They've run out of psychics already. And here we go. Five toxics. And I just need to hit one. And it's over. It is is over. It is over. As a matter of fact, it's over. And I win. GG's. GG. Now, I will upload this replay. Copy. Oh, my opponent's done it for me. Hopefully you can't see that tab. It'll be interesting if you can. Because I don't like people being able to see my Discord open. I have sent them a GG's heart. Over the, over the airwaves. Uh, what a... Ah, oh, I'm so happy. Ah... Oh. I get to just sit on this cloud for however long it takes. It's half nine already. I've got a 9 a.m. tomorrow. Well, I already I already am in the state where I can wake up at seven o'clock. I woke up at seven o'clock this morning, but I decided to have a bit of a lie in and just sit in, to and in, sit in semi torpor for a little bit. Halfway between the realms. That was uh, an experience. That was a learning experience, is what that was. That was a learning experience. What have I learned? What has been learned in such an experience? The takeaway, the moral of the story, is that sometimes Glygar's purpose is not to win the battle, 
but it is to lose the battle so that I may win the war. And that is Gligar's purpose. And that is all. That is all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for reveling in this glorious victory with me. And I will see you later. Good evening.